yeah greetings um cancer and welcome into the channel thanks for tuning in and i hope that all is well with you these are your entertaining zodiac sign tarot card readings all right so we see something showing up fast eight of wands on the bottom of the deck um this may be something with your family or um paternal energy a masculine energy like a father showing up someone wants to clear the air to a sword they want to say sorry they want to say sorry for showing up or maybe sorry for not showing up three of wands energy so let's see there's also someone that has been waiting and i'm also seeing like i hear i was about to say root spells and then it's the, the word carnal came before that all right so maybe some type of a tie you have with someone and it is going to be showing up um in some way maybe in your energy maybe this person is physically showing up maybe it is showing up in maybe your own energy like if you feel like someone is pulling on your energy if you feel tired if you feel like there's just something else in your vibration it could be indicative of um some type of a tie in your roots maybe looking at your hair maybe looking at your posture your your alignment your spinal cord your kundalini your inspiration your creation um, someone also wants to create fatherhood or motherhood with you, but it's fatherhood energy. So someone wants to be a father to your child or someone wants to make you one with you. Um, yeah. Okay. So someone wants that. Yeah. Heart of fire. So that card was three of ones. So heart of fire have, have be one with you. Yeah, so someone really wants to align with you in as one, become a unit. And it's like they want to create a family with you, you know, like have a youth. Um, a new feeling to have something, the card says. So I feel like they, this person, they have been desiring this thing. They've been really desiring to do this. And I'm I'm feeling magic here as well, like... Like someone has been doing some type of a spell on you. So if you feel stuck with the three of swords in love, it's because someone, maybe it is yourself. You've been holding back yourself, but somehow you may still feel stuck. Like you're not moving forward or you're not seeing what you're waiting for. Maybe we'll see what is the cause of this. A passion. I feel like you may not be going after what you want, dissipating and so it feels like you're wasting time. Okay, like you're not chasing your dreams. Like you're, you're, I don't know what's going on with you. Like you're waiting, persevere, but you're still not giving up for what is out there. But we still don't know what you want, how to make it come to you. Who are you? What are you in love? What are you looking for? We're just seeing you standing there. So it's like... We don't know what you want. Quest. We don't know how to serve you in love. We don't know what you're asking for. We don't know what is going on with your heart. Energy. What are you doing? It's like only you know. It's maybe you're also stuck in your mind. A lot. Daydreaming. Abundance. Okay. Daydreaming and stuck in your mind. I hear foreign. Like you could be waiting for something that maybe not gonna come through with the trickery and victim card i'm feeling someone carnal a beast someone is trying to block you someone someone is trying to keep you stuck dissipating you see that card someone is trying to keep you old and trapped on an old sofa victim watching tv so that they can watch you so they like completion because i don't know they're waiting for something but they're waiting on your time and they're using your time and energy. Passion. I hear guilt. I hear charge. I hear ice cream. And someone wanted to defame you. Balance in the reversal card. And take something from you. Someone has been taking from you. Wisdom in the reversal card. They've been like blocking you. Keeping you out of the know. But it's like someone being in um, Alzheimer's mode. Or like you forget things, you, you lost your memory, I'm sorry, or you're not remember, remember, remembering, 
You're not remembering your dreams. That was literally part of You're not remembering your dreams. Okay, you're not connecting or something like this, right? So, or being in a coma, not responsive to what's going on around you. It's like... So like be like like zoning out impartiality, like someone has lost their way, lost their mind. So it seems like there's no way to connect with you in love because I don't know, that's the energy with this three of swords card, okay? Three of wands, pardon me. For some of you, I'm telling you, this is either a situation where you know what you're doing and other people don't know what's blocking you, what you're waiting on, and you know fate. Or this is a situation where this carnal, karmic person from your past has been doing some type of spells. So no one shows up for you. Look, in past. Yeah, we're calling them out. This person has been doing it. Guilt. Okay, you see how they keep someone trapped around here? So because of their own guilt. It just, this is weird. <clears throat> So let's see. I'm getting a mother energy with that guilt card. It's, it is like if you don't find a way to free yourself, insecurities, insecurity, they're going to continue to, to use your energy or to subject you to whatever is going on here. Because I feel like what you're being told is not true. It is a figment of your imagination or not even your own. It is a figment of their own imagination that they're projecting upon you. If you would know what you are in. Instincts, you need to, you're going to start seeing signs and symbols around you that are showing you that you're not free mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, and fertility or in for whatever. Verily, you're just not in your own element because you're captivated by someone or some experiences from the past. And you're there thinking, oh my, I'm free, but so you're going to see like something show up through the window that's a sign of what real life is this is giving me like tangled energy how she was in trapped in um the castle but at the same time this is different because at least tangled had intuition i feel like you're not using your guidance your intuition you may feel like it is not fair for me to judge you and judge it though and say that but i feel like it is true like you're not using your full you're not seeing the beautiful things like you could be you see how this girl she looks drunk in the background or under under something like under something impatience but i feel like your time is coming trust that you're not going to be in isolation for long. Miracles. You're going to have your breakthrough. Grief. You're going to wake up. You're going to free yourself from whatever. You're going to see the truth. I'm telling you. Con confusion and perception. You're going to be seeing the fullness of the truth of everything. Pure lies. Oh my gosh. You're going to. When you see this, it's kind of icky to see the truth of how you've been living all along. Oh, it's like you're seeing everything and, and everyone for, for real. And you're going to see the things that have been keeping you captive. Enlightenment card. I hear sugar. And then you're going to... Maybe take a breath. Wake up. You're going to free yourself. Wisdom. Because your ancestors, they keep speaking with you. Balance. They want to bring things back into balance for you. It is like inevitable that you figure out this thing and come back into balance completion right you are also a soldier dissipating and passion you are meant to come alive release things are going to change for you the truth is coming out it's, the spells are broken hmm. oh my god the ten of wands is next exactly this is all that i've been seeing the struggle and the stresses of the, the environment how someone wanted to keep you trapped root chakra energy and struggling and stressed but they also underestimated you because look perseverance and service you are a light worker you are a giver this is your you are made for this you are made for this quest and your ancestors are with you it's just like imagine you come becoming even more aware that oh this is what i am made for and i am spiritually guided and backed it makes you feel more empowered that is how enlightened and alive you're going to be becoming released in a few days or even in a few minutes
complacency because you're remembering because remember i was saying they wanted you to be forgetful with the um i hear avalanche they wanted you to be forgetful with the alzheimer's card but you tr you remember you come alive again impatience you remember some of the flames you remember the light in your eyes you remember the truth wow okay the next card is the page of cups this is someone that is in your life in some way shape or form i'm this person now could be a spirit guide or this could be the person impatience could be a spirit guide or this could be someone that's been messing with your energy i'm also feeling four diamonds that you are getting back collecting your what is yours and this was a, a love reading you know six of swords someone showing up could be your mother could be a gemini and this could be about your inheritance i hear partner skills it's a cubs oh my gosh love shows up for you i hear wait your turn acceptance you get what is yours or what you've been asking for perception this is making me feel like you manifested something that you wanted you got your way um like, like you knew you would i feel like you you got something that you knew that you would some answer some clarity or someone coming through and I also feel like you knew that you would have freed yourself. You would have made it through. You would have broken free from under whatever spell. I knew it. Oh my gosh. And this is like a confirmation of your gifts, your talents, your abilities, your power. I told like, you see what I'm saying? There was definitely spells going on here. Complacency. But it's like the greatness in you is that this, is, this was your mission and you fulfill it. You break through. Quest. You, 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 you fulfill your mission. You know, I'm telling you, there's something about rain and rainwater, maybe being in the rain, catching rainwater. And there's something about lying and crying. And this crying of release energy is you, is you washing away from you all the, the, it's just all of the impurities and the toxins and the debris and the foolishness that have all been placed in your energy too i hear hereditary as well to block you in love and they've been working like your chakras and your mind with lunar energies and they did not want you to know they didn't want you to feel like it is happening they didn't want you be to become wiser they themselves are underneath some trends Okay, it's that is why it is your responsibility to pull away your find. Look at your heart. Look at your love. Look at you healing and finding love in places that no one gave it to you, but you had to generate it in yourself. That is why you are here. You are an amoeba. You are a phenomenon. You are a T cell. You are a healer. You are a bringer of light. You it's like you can go live in the desert and you just you you just dwell there for a while and then. And then, you know, life starts to grow there. That is the kind of person you are. You are a giver. You, you don't just go to the environment and take. You give. Anywhere you go, you set up and you, 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 you become something and the environment becomes something because of you. So this person thought that they were going to put you through a hard life and hardships and keep you blocked and waiting and draining your energy. Right? Stealing from you making you like a spectacle or something maybe trying to humiliate you and they thought that you were going to break but not realizing that this was your 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 mission you just took it into your own hands now no fate yeah four of cups wow magician and four of cups i feel like you don't trust in these people because they've hurt you before and it's kind of rough that we, this is what we're talking about in your love reading so close to you know you know but soulmate energies i feel like you do have soulmates out here who can resonate with you there are people who can resonate with what you are currently going through you're not the only one right so you're choosing self-love fortune exactly and i feel like things are turning around beautifully 
so like marvelously spectacular with the magician four cups and wheel of fortune you are spectacular for real the way how you did this thing the way how you owned yourself four of cups wheel of fortune you're blessed you just took you just it's like you st you stood on the table you were a player on the table on in the wheel of fortune on the charts but then it's like you became alive i hear like cgi or something on the table you owned the game you owned the table you played the play you mastered and they tried to read you but they couldn't and they tried to separate you from yourself or, and love but they could not so here comes love and something about the water and uh, also you see when the, the karma is the spells are going to go back on this person they're going to feel it you see <sighs> anywho i encourage you to breathe ten of swords wow i encourage you to breathe and i did have a vision of ten of swords workaholic of a lot of people like talking behind your back a lot of people blaming pointing fingers on you you know, I, that's what I that's what I felt earlier. I, like I saw it in a vision of a lot of people just pointing fingers on one person who you're just like a black sheep energy who um who in, you, you probably didn't even know you probably weren't even aware that all of them are pointing fingers on you, right? And then it reminded me of this card, the Ten of Swords. Wow, these are the things that you're freeing yourself from in love, you know, ten of, ten of wands and ten of swords. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, beautiful soul. All right, we're going to take it into your money reading next. So thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I pray health, wealth, prosperity, much love, healing and well-being in your life. May any spell that you may come under be broken. Thanks so much for tuning in. I um, may love find you in many ways, shape and form. Continue following your heart. Um, you are beautiful. Trust in yourself. You are not alone. You are about to unite or reunite in some way with true, real love. And this bond that you are about to create with someone special is like dynamite. It's going to blow up. It's like... <laughs> It's a sigma, sigma or something. It's about to like in. You're about to in, maybe get like popularity or fame or inspire a lot of people or create great changes. When both of you come together, it will be like none other. Like this is none other than, you know, you too. You're, that's the energy and you're going to inspire a lot of people in the area that you are from. Yeah, I feel like you may be surrounded by a lot of single people when you get together with your person. And people will like look up to you and your person. But we'll get to that. I guess we had to get this one out. Much love to you. Take it easy out there. Let me know how this message inspired you or is able to help you on your journey in some way. Thanks for tuning in. Much love, beautiful soul. Have a beautiful day.